Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Today's lesson video is on row echelon form matrices. What is an echelon matrix? Here we have three examples of matrices in row echelon form. To identify a matrix which is in echelon form, it must satisfy the following conditions. The first non-zero number in each row, called the leading entry, is 1. However, there are some references present a slightly different description. That is, they do not require that the first non-zero entry in each row is equal 1. Next, each leading entry is in a column to the right of the leading entry in the previous row. Observe the blue elbow line. The entries below the first one in each row must be 0. And lastly, the rows of all zeros are at the bottom of the matrix. Now, can you identify the matrices which are not in echelon form? Is it matrix A or matrix B or matrix C? Let's look closely at each of the matrices. For matrix A, notice that it does not have all the zeros at the bottom of the matrix. Hence, matrix A is not in echelon form. Observe matrix C. For matrix C, it has a 1 in the second position on the third row. For row echelon form, it needs to be on the right of the leading coefficient above it. Hence, matrix C is also not in echelon form. Now observe matrix B. Matrix B is in echelon form as it satisfies all the conditions. That is, the first non-zero leading entry is 1. And the leading entry on the next row is to the right of the one in the previous row. There are zeros below the leading entry 1. To reduce a matrix into row echelon form, we can apply a series of elementary row operations. Let's look at the following example. Transform the given matrix to a row echelon form. First, we interchange row 1 and row 2 so that the top left hand corner is 1. Then we multiply each element in row 1 by negative 2 and add the product to row 3 to produce a new row 3. Next, we multiply each element of row 2 by negative 3 and add to row 3 to produce a new row 3. This produce a row echelon form since it meets the following requirement. The first non-zero entry in each row is 1. The first non-zero entry is to the right of the first non-zero entry in the previous row and rows made up entirely of zeros are at the bottom of the matrix. In conclusion, 
To transform a matrix into row echelon form, the steps to be taken are Start by obtaining 1 in the top left. Then, obtain zeros below that 1 by adding appropriate multiples of the first row to the rows below it. Next, obtain a leading 1 in the next row and then obtain zeros below that 1. At each stage, make sure that every leading entry is to the right of the leading entry in the row above it. Rearrange the rows if necessary. Continue the process until all the row echelon form conditions are satisfied. That's about all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to press like, subscribe and the notification bell. Till we meet again, please take care and goodbye.